Here in Geneva, during last week's press briefing, the World Health Organization called to mind that the most severe pandemic in recent history was over 100 years ago, the influenza pandemic in 1918. It killed almost 100 million people, but that now we had technology and are able to prevent that type of disaster. We are not in the same situation. We should not be afraid. If there is national unity, and if there is global solidarity, if we take this as a common enemy for humanity and give our best, of course, understanding that this is a new virus and dangerous virus, we can win the fight. We can. The World Health Organization strongly rejected numbers and averages that are floating around about the coronavirus and its death tolls. They're not numbers. They're not averages. They are people. They're individuals. Even one life matters. One life. You can't bring it back once it's gone. Now entering a global race to develop a vaccine, Pfizer and BioNTech secured approval for Germany's first human clinical trials. The trials will be initially conducted on 200 healthy people aged 18 to 55 years. Monsignor Robert Vitillo explains who makes those selections and if these people know they have been picked to be guinea pigs. In the scientific research that will go on for both the vaccines and for treatments, first of all, this kind of research is done with volunteers. So no one is treated like a guinea pig. Uh, no one does this uh, involuntarily. We're also continuing to lead research and development efforts. So far, more than 100 countries have joined the Solidarity Trial to evaluate therapeutics for COVID-19, and 1,200 patients have been randomized from the first five countries the randomization isn't just picking people from a list. It's really uh, having a randomized trial means that half of the people will get the medicine or the vaccine and half the people will get a placebo. And then they're able to measure the, the results uh, carefully. They usually try to get people of the same kind of age range, the same kind of health situation. So you can really make conclusions from the results of the trials. This week, we expect that more than 600 hospitals, countries will be ready to start enrolling patients. The faster we recruit patients, the faster we will get results. This uh, vaccine development is hugely welcome. The development and upstream development of products is very, very um, important. But what's also important is scaling up and ramping up production of those vaccines so that they can be allocated fairly across the world and do the best possible good. On April 24th, the health organization announced the launch of what they call Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator, ACT. This is to raise 8 billion US dollars to speed development of coronavirus vaccines and treatments. France, the EU leader and Germany will be co-hosting this gigantic fundraiser campaign that will hit the road on May 4th. This campaign is to kick off an ongoing rolling replenishment. The aim is to raise 7.5 billion euros to ramp up work on prevention, diagnostics and treatment. And this is a first step only, but more will be needed in the future. Deutschland wird sich mit einem substanziellen Beitrag an dieser Konferenz beteiligen und ich rufe alle auf, dieses so große globale Ziel mit zu unterstützen. Es zeigt sich hier, ob wir wirklich miteinander zusammenarbeiten können zum Wohle vieler, vieler Millionen Menschen. Und ich begrüße alle, die hier mitmachen und werde auch weiter dafür werben. Pope Francis summed our current situation up perfectly during the extraordinary Orbi at Orbi blessing on March 27th. He said, we're all in the same boat. We're all fragile, we're all worried, but we're also all important and needed. So let's row together. I think that's what solidarity is all about. Uh, people are heroically offering their lives to serve others. Others may not be able to do that, but they can be 
uh, solidarity in donations and doing volunteer work for others, but we all have a role to play in this. Speaking of playing, perhaps humanity will be saved like in this fictional, almost prophetic TV series from 2014, where in a cure for a global viral pandemic that wiped out over 80% of the world's population is found. Simultaneously, hundreds of people now inhale the cure.